Hello and welcome and today we're going to show you how to get NordVPN working on your Asus router. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to nordvpn.com forward slash profile and select download area. Then you want to scroll all the way down to the WRT section and download the OVPN configuration files and the CA and TLS certificates. On a Windows machine or a Windows 10 machine, you simply want to right click and select Extract All. And you want to do this for both the CA and the config folders. Now, once that's finished, you simply get a glance of all the extracted files and these don't make much sense at the moment, but they will do shortly. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is open a new tab on your web browser. And you simply want to go to router.asus.com and log into your router, or you can go to the IP address. Mine's 192.168.1.1. And you simply log in with your admin username and password. Now, once logged in, you simply want to scroll down and to the left and select VPN. And then you want to select the top tab that says VPN client. Then you want to select add profile. And then open VPN. And now you want to browse to those folders that you just extracted to, in this case the config folder, and you now have to choose the server in which you want to configure your router to connect to. These don't make much sense at the moment, but if you load the NordVPN software, like I'm doing now, you can simply go to the country you want to add click the tab to the right and then you can see the servers that are closest to you. Now I've simply picked the server that is the closest to me in miles. Now I know that's US908 so I'm going to find US908 the file there and select the OVPN file with the same server name that I want to add. And then I want to give it a name that I can easily identify it by, so I'm going to give it the country name, the server number, the VPN name, and the transfer protocol, UDP. I'm selecting UDP because that's suitable for me, but you can select TCP if you wish. Then you enter your username and password for your VPN provider, in this case your NordVPN subscription. And then once you've filled out the username and password, you simply want to hit the upload button and then tick the import the CA file or edit the OVPN file manually box. Click browse. Now you want to browse to your CA and TLS files you extracted earlier. And you simply want to find the file name, the CA file, with the same server name that you just added. So I'll go down to all the ones that begin with US and I find 908 and the one that ends in CA and I add that and then I hit upload. Then OK that. At this stage you can test the connection and just make sure that it's all connecting appropriately. Yes, we get a tick, so that's all gone through OK. And let's add another one. So we click Add Profile, select Open VPN. Then we go back to our NordVPN software and then expand the options along the side. And then we sort by the closest servers to me. I find one that's close to me. Number 131 looks good. 
So now what I need to do is go back to the router, select browse, go back to the OVPN files that we extracted earlier in the config folder and select go down to the UK files they begin in UK obviously and we just remind ourselves that it was number 131 that we want to add so we want to find UK number 131 and I want to add the UDP protocol rather than the TCP so I select the UDP UK 131 UDP 1194.ovpn that's the one give it a name that makes it easy to recognize and then log in with your NordVPN username and password then once you've done that you simply want to hit upload you'll then get a confirmation message that says complete and then you want to tick the import the CA file box and select browse then you simply want to go back to your CA extracted CA files CA certificate files and find UK 131 underscore CA hit upload so your certificate file matches your OVPN file in name and you want to OK that and then on the left hand side you want to select WAN now this is very important if you want to stay anonymous online then you want to scroll down to WAN DNS setting and select connect to DNS server automatically no and in DNS server 1 you want to type 162.242 dot two one one dot one three seven in DNS server two you want to type seven eight dot four six dot two two three dot two four then you want to scroll all the way down the page and select apply now you want to select VPN from the left hand side menu once again select VPN client tab at the top and connect to one of your recently added Nord VPN connections select activate I've chosen the UK connection that's given me the blue tick to indicate that's connected and just to make sure that we are anonymous and we're not giving away any DNS information we shouldn't be we want to go to dnsleak.com and select start as long as it comes back and says looks like your DNS is not leaking you know you set everything up correctly and you're safe to browse online anonymously we've been Zany Geek VPN yourselves up